Alright guys, welcome back. Um, this is Dev Spider again. And uh, we're getting kind of low on supplies as far as like bow and arrows, pickaxes and stuff. So I figured it'd be a good day to do an episode on just some crafting and stocking back up. So uh, first and foremost, we're going to start with some food. Uh, energy's low and everything else. Uh, fridge is pretty much empty. So we'll start off making some meats too. So you'll want to go to your workbench. I already have all the necessary ingredients on me, which is one potato one raw fish, one raw meat. So you just add one each and mix it and that gives you stew mix. This is what gives you the plus one to your maximum hit points. So we'll get all these mixed up really quick and all I'm doing is uh, alt plus right click and it moves your item to the workbench so you don't have to drag and drop on all of them. Yeah, almost done. Alright, so that's stew mix made up. Then we'll move over to the stove. We'll go ahead and set it on fire. I've already got fuel in it. And for this, you're going to want pans. So just add your stew mix to the pan. Alright, and then while that's cooking, we'll go over here and grab some fat. Because I also need some bandages, because I'm running low on bandages. Which requires tallow. And this will be bolt crafting. So we'll just get, uh, I don't know, 100 of those. More than enough, I'm sure. We'll grab 50 plant fiber to go with it. And you can go back to your workbench. And here it's going to be 10 of these. So you're going to hold shift and left click. Do 10, gives you 5 tallow. We'll get these crafted up really quick. If I could count, it would help. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's stack those. Oh. I like to keep a healthy supply of everything on me at all times, just so that I don't have to stop building to go make bandages. Or if I'm like live streaming, I don't have to stop for anything else. I can just keep trucking. Maybe just go grab a stack out of the chest. And just make sure to keep down your food. Uh, you want to get it all cooked up before it goes bad and then put it in the refrigerator. Alright, so we've got those made up. And then to make bandages, will be 5 tallow, 25 plant fiber. So, and you can see we're getting pretty heavy. So we'll take the stew off. If you look at it, it says right there. It lasts a long time, then plus one to your max health for consume. I'm already at maximum health, but it's a good way to get energy too if you don't want to stop to sleep. So we'll get that done. Go to the fridge. We'll store this. And then just make sure it says power on down here. That means the fridge is running, so your food won't go bad. It'll freeze the time. Alright, and uh, we'll go ahead and do these bandages really quick. So 25 plant fiber. And then I believe it was five tallow. And that should give us five bandages. I was already low, so I just jumped over there. Alright, yeah, five bandages. So we'll go to the crate so we can drop some of this weight off. Yeah, tallow weighs a lot, so I think we have some we might have some plant popper close by. There we go. Let's see, so I'm going to split these into stacks of five really quick, see how, many, how much plant fiber we need. And then we'll st we can split these into 25. And again, I'm just doing shift left click to get the slider out. So, so. Five there, five there. We're gonna be really heavy for a second until we make the bandages. So, 25 there. And there we go. And that'll get us going on bandages for a while. Probably won't have to craft any for a very long time. Oop. And just drag them over, drop them, craft. 
And then we're gonna make some bone arrows in a second too, because I'm almost out of bone arrows. And there should be a blood moon coming up soon. And my blood moon's maxed out at 15, so I like to keep a couple extra arrows for pretty missed shots I make. There we go. We've got 50 bandages made up now. 55. I usually like keeping 10 on me, but I think I'm just gonna keep the 10 in there and just keep five for now. All right, and swap the stew out and get the rest of it cooking. And get this stored up in the refrigerator. And then for bone arrows, we're gonna need bone shards, which I should have some already made. I've got 21 here. Uh, your bones will stack up to 50, so I don't want to touch that stack. We'll, we'll grab this partial here. And the neighbors are gonna get rowdy while we're doing this, of course. There they are. One headshot kills them. You wanna use bone arrows, you get them back every time. Unless you miss and just can't find it. You don't really need that potato seed, so we'll just slap it away. Um, as far as this goes, you could go to the advanced workbench. One large bone gives you three shards. So we'll go ahead and craft these up into shards. Save a space in the long run. And again, just alt right click one at a time on the workbench and it just crafts it right up for you. Be there anytime now. And as you can see bone shards are also a 50 stack. So it doesn't take long to get plenty of bones. You just kill any any animal will give you bones. Or they'll give you one bone, typically. And see, I've, I mean, I've got a hold of the 50 in there, so that's 150 shards. Alright, so for bone arrows, <clears throat> we're going to need five shards per... Because we're going we're gonna to bolt craft them, so we need five shards, five feathers, five sticks, and five ropes. So we'll grab these. How much weight are we at? It's the only issue is the weight. We'll grab these. So grab some sticks real quick. Right, should be 25 sticks on us now. Yep. And then we need some feathers. Yeah, you see, I've got a stack of arrows. There's just stone arrows. I don't really care for those. I save them anyways, just in case it's a it's a rainy day, you know. Let's see, what are we hurting on? We need energy, so we'll eat one of these stews to get some energy back. So if you watch your energy, it'll go up once you eat some stew. And if you eat anything, your energy increases slightly. But stews, any type of food that you've cooked, gives you a bigger increase in energy. Alright, so then back to the workbench. And here it's like 5 and 5 on everything. So it takes a second. Um, everything broke out a little bit. So 5 shards, 5 sticks, 5 feathers, and then 5 rope. And that'll give us a stack of 5 bone arrows. And this is why I say you just take you a moment and just do your crafting, get it all out of the way. You don't have to worry with it for a while. And it, it really doesn't take long once you figure out the system. So, five of these again. Five ropes. Five sticks. Five shards. And we'll probably just make whatever we can off of what we have on us right now. We don't. You don't really need that many because they're indestructible. 
and really all you need on you technically is like 20 it's more than enough because uh, I mean you shouldn't miss more than like five times because they shouldn't but if y'all have watched some other videos you do see me miss a lot it just depends on how I'm doing that day but we don't need a rope Got another stick five more shards Right, and we got enough for one more craft, so we'll knock it out real quick. Alright, craft that. So we're at 25 arrows now, so that'll last us a long time. You go to inventory, hit I. See, I've only got six arrows left. You can just drag it over there, drop it. 31. It's 15 pounds of weight, but, uh, I mean, it's fine. I don't. I'm not that worried about it. If it, if it's too bad, I'll just take it off and take some of them off and move them around. All right, and then let's put these back up so we can get our weight back where it needs to be. And, uh, and we'll slide these bone shards in here. So let's see. We could use. We need three more spears. So for, and those are all bone spears right now because uh, bone spear is a lot better than the stone spear. And for that, it's one shard, three sticks, five plant fiber. So we'll go grab a couple of sticks. Should be 15. Yep. Oh, that's more than we need, but it'll work. Uh, let's see here. Need a little bit more plant fiber. And one bone shard per. And we'll also, you can just craft these on yourself, but you have to make sure you have space. So, like, we have two slots here. And I always like to keep up with which one I already have, because I already know it's damaged somewhat. So, I like to keep the new ones racked out for Blood Moon Knight. And just open up your own crafting menu. So, let's see, three sticks. One shard, and I believe it's five plant fiber off the top of my head. There we go. Let's have two of those over there. Alt right click to move one. Alt right click to move one, and then we'll drag and do the five on the slider. All right. Come over here, put them on our weapons rack. We'll make one more just to get it all full. So alt right click, click uh, shift left click. And shift left click on this one too. There we go. And this will keep me supplied for, I don't know, a long, long, long time. See, like, I keep a little bit of everything. Uh, I've got torches, but I mean that's just more for show. I've actually never actually used a torch for anything. And uh, so that's my where I usually keep my bows. And this one's already damaged a little bit, and I'm running really low. So we need to make a couple of bows also. So we're gonna make five of those. And to make a bow is one stick and three rope. I'll take this one since it's already broke down. So I'll just drag that over. And one stick, bam. Wait, why? Three ropes. And we'll grab a couple. Well, I don't think we need more sticks. I think we'll be good. Stack these out. Let's see here. One and three. One and three. And since I mean the bow is my favorite weapon, so I definitely keep a lot of these on hand. I think it's a lot, but I mean, I did enjoy throwing the spear. I thought that was the best way to go for a while. But uh, I mean, you can only carry so much stuff. I'd rather lose an arrow than have to chase after a spear if I drop too many. So bam. And that will get us filled back up on bows. Alright, 
so we're looking good on bows. Let's put all this stuff back up. We'll keep the fiber out for pickaxes. So we need to make another four pickaxes. Just because when I like when I go to get ready to forge and stuff, I like to fill up all my boxes. As you can see, I, I like these will get filled up when I go to get clay because I, I need more brick for my buildings over here. So, because uh, this one's already done, I mean it's already concreted and bricked up and then ironed up. So that one's just something I built just to uh, look at the roof system and play around with it. And these are just for fun. So and then my sawmills over here, of course. All right, and yeah, this is what I call this ingot row, but uh, <laughs> it's where I keep all my ingots. And yeah, the, the, all these will be full once I uh, do another smelting day. All right, so anyways, back to uh, back to the mission at hand is uh, let's grab a couple more sticks. Yeah, see our stats are screaming at us for energy and thirst. Yeah, let's see if we got. I'll probably eat another stew just to be good. Eat a watermelon too. Handle the water, and I keep a large garden just so I don't have to uh, worry about food so much. Like even during the winter, I only eat maybe half these first two rows. All right, now that stew's done, so we'll grab those. We'll eat one of these just to keep our energy up. I'm gonna store the other one for later. All right. And we need to grab a couple rocks. I said I need what four pickaxes? Yeah. So we'll need four rocks. And we'll make four stone blades out of those. So the stone blade, you just go to your self crafting table, alt right click, stone blade. Just takes one rock. Alright. And uh, so once you get your stone blades, then it's gonna be one stick, one stone blade, and two plant fibers. And the neighbors are out of here again. Let's see, where are you at, Sheila? I hear you screaming. You sound like you're right over here. Oh, there you are. See? And that's why I needed extra arrows. Because I'm bad about pulling my shot. I need to clean my mouse pad off. So usually you can find your arrow if you go look for it. Um. I know that one landed around here somewhere, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, we're at 30. We were at 31. I can can afford to live without that one after all the crafting we just did. All right, so let's get these pickaxes made real quick. Same thing on your own crafting table. Just go ahead and uh, throw what you need on there. So we said two of these, one of these, and one of these. Bam. One stick, one blade, and we can still right click these because you don't need but two. One, two plant fibers, one stick, one blade. But yeah, inventory is full, so let's go rack these out and we'll finish that. Right, one stick, two fiber, one blade. One stick, two fiber, one blade. All right, and your weapon racks hold five tools each, so I'm good to go. And all these are just ones I've already been using that are getting worn out. Like if I'm going on like a long run for clay, I always take fresh pickaxes or aluminum because my base is located over here. So for aluminum, it's a pretty good little trip, especially since I've already like mined this whole half of the mountain. But uh, yeah, and that's that's it. That's just getting our crafting done for the for the day to get ready to keep on playing and get some more building done. As you can see my 30 story tower and those are 10 story towers uh, four in, or one in each corner and then the middle building is five stories and I'll be adding brick to it as soon as I get enough clay and you know of course get it all dried out and mixed up. But that and that's it so if you wouldn't mind just uh, like subscribe let me know how I'm doing uh, if you have any ideas or would like to see something built you know, feel free to leave a comment below. I always check on those and I'll respond. And, uh, yep, this is infected. And so far, he's been doing one to two major updates a month with, uh, like, anywhere from three to five minor fixes and balances. So the game's come along really, really nicely. 
So if you haven't played yet and you're just watching the videos, y'all y'all really need to get in here. It's uh he's always adding something new, like we just got the log cart, uh and the saw benches, as you can see over here on my lumber mill. Just to show this real quick. And uh yeah, this is my sawmill. There's I have a video out on this too, if y'all want to see the most proficient way to make lumber. I stack up six hundred lumber in here and it doesn't really take that long. So if you want to do big builds, this is the way to go. This is also where I like to fight, because it's all made out of wood. Well, anyways, again, like, subscribe, and uh, let me know how y'all's game is going. Leave some pictures, comments below. Thanks, and have a great day.